Hello, I am Marisha and welcome to my creative diary. I hope you're having a great day. Get ready to start your stash because we're about to use some dyes to create a candy holder. So let's get started. Using the Nested Peeps die set from scrapbook.com, I used the largest die to die cut two peeps from yellow cardstock. Next, I'm going to bring in two circle dies that are similar in size, along with the dome that we're going to use to hold the candy. The smaller die fits perfectly around the dome, and the largest die I'm going to use to die cut an additional piece of yellow cardstock. This will be used as the backing for the dome. I'm going to double check just to make sure that everything will fit correctly. So I'm going to bring in the dome along with the circle cut out and it looks like it's going to be a perfect fit. Next, I'm going to bring in the smallest circle die and then I'm going to position it on one of the peeps. Once I'm satisfied with the placement of the die, I'm then going to bring in a piece of mint tape and I'm going to use it to secure the die to the cardstock. That way, this will prevent the die from moving when I run the die and the cardstock through my die cutting machine. Now, my friend, I am giving you a heads up that you might see more peep content within the next few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this die set so much. I do. When I received it in the mail, I thought, oh my goodness, there are so many things I can do with this die set. But you know what? A peep series does sound kind of nice. What do you think? Let me know below. This next step is optional, but I decided to use my wire cutters to remove the top part of this dome. Then I'm going to bring in my favorite candy, well, one of my favorites, some Snickers, but you can use whatever candy that you love or that you wanna to add to this candy holder. I was going to use my Tombow clear liquid adhesive glue to adhere the dome to the circle die cutout, but I misplaced it and I opted to use my glue gun. Now it's time to assemble our peep candy holder. So we have our solid peep, which is our base, and then the top layer peep with the circle cutout. So as you see, I just put it on top of the circle dome holder. And then from there, I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to the back. And then I'm going to adhere the top layer to the base. My candy holder is complete, so now I'm going to create some fun elements to add to my peep. Next, I'm going to bring in scrapbook.com's Hippity Hoppity stamp set, and I selected You're My Favorite Peep. I'm going to position the stamp on my cardstock, and then I'm going to use black ink to ink up the stamp, and I'm going to stamp it three times just to make sure I have a good impression. I'm going to create a circle tag for my Peep candy holder. So I selected two different size circle dies. I'm going to use the smallest die to die cut the sentiment and the largest die to die cut a piece of paper from scrapbook.com's holographic mirror paper pad. Once I adhere my sentiment to the base of my tag, I'm then going to bring in my crop a dial and I'm going to hole punch the tag. Next, I'm going to bring in some ribbon to tie around my peep. So this ribbon is actually from Michael's. I purchased it around Valentine's Day. So I'm just going to cut it down to size. Uh, no measurement required. Just cut what you need. <laughs> and then from there, I'm going to thread the tag through the ribbon. And then I'm going to tie a bow. If you decide to recreate this project, please tag me online as I would love to show you some love. When I was coming up with ideas on how to uh, use this die set, I thought, you know what, how about a candy holder? Normally, we're so quick to just download SVG files 
and not realize, hey, we can use what's in our stash. So I really hope that this tutorial inspires you to do that. And plus, there are some in our community who don't have a Cricut. They just have their die cutting machine. So I hope this tutorial really does inspire you to look at your dies from a different point of view and create different things. To add some final touches to my peep, I need to add some eyes and a nose. So I used a circle die from the Sunny Lane Florals die set. I die cut three circle shapes from black mirror cardstock. I'm going to then position the circles on my peep and then using adhesive glue, I'm going to adhere them to the peep. And just like that, my peep candy holder is complete. Please let me know in the comment section if this is a project that you are going to create using your dies. Thank you for joining me on today. I appreciate you as always for stopping by. It is my hope that this tutorial has inspired you to create. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you join the Bell Rose community. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my blog at the diaryofbellrose.com. As always, I'm sending you love and a whole lot of hugs. Until next time, please take care.